Danny Garcia, Floyd Mayweather, a lot of probability that it will happen. It looks like Floyd might be coming back. Paulie, you're going to be covering that fight if it happens. What do you think? Listen, people are going to complain about it. Stylistically, it's a good fight for Floyd. Danny is here for a reason. He's undefeated for a reason. He's got a lot of big names on his record for a reason. He's better than it looks to the naked eye. You know what I mean? There's little nuances that he does in there that can bother you. He's, he's a timing kind of fighter. He lets go of those bombs on timing. He's, it looks like he's winging them, but he's throwing them on a timing basis. Listen, can, is he going to be able to deal with Floyd's rhythm and, and the change of pace and the change of look? I, probably not. Probably not, I'll be honest. But it doesn't mean he's not deserving of an opportunity to do so. You know what I mean? Listen, Andre Berto's a pretty good fighter, but I think Danny deserves it more than Andre Berto deserves it. You know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, you know, if we're gonna go with the Mayweather, Danny Garcia, there's a lot worse fights we can we can put it put it in with. You know what I mean? But like I said, I mean, for me personally, if I'm Floyd, I, I would look for the Canelo fight. It's a guy he already beat, and it's a chance to win a title in a six weight class. How big is that fight this time, Paulie? Considering what happened the first time, it's gonna look a lot better since the first time. I mean. Perception-wise, he's gotten a lot better. Has he really gotten a lot better? Who knows? I mean, for the perception is he's gotten a lot better. I mean, he's definitely fought better competition since. I mean, he was still relatively young. He hadn't fought all the big names he's fought now. So, just on the basis that he fought big names, automatically makes him better in people's eyes. You know, because he got some good wins and whatnot. Um, he's won the middleweight title. Um, so it's a bigger fight now because even Canelo's name is bigger than it was before, and it was already a pretty big name then. It makes the nine figures Floyd wants. It makes Canelo more money than any other fight, including the GGG fight. It's a chance for Canelo to avenge his only loss, and it's a chance for Floyd to win a title in a six-weight class. I mean, for me, it falls off pieces fit really nicely. I don't know. Does Floyd fight at 155? Does Canelo go back to 54, 52 like last time? Oh, no, you got to make it for the middleweight title. It's got to be 55. Yeah. <laughs> That's a caveat right there. Yeah. The 55 pound middleweight title. Gotta be. Because listen, Canelo fighting at 55 is not going to be any middleweights that can make that weight. Bro, bro, if you're fighting at 160, you can't make 155. I fight at 47, I can't make 142. If I can make 142, I'd be still making 40. If, if a guy can make 155, that means he can fight at 54. So you're not going to be any, see any 60 pounders fighting at 155 because otherwise they would be fighting at 54 to begin with. You understand me? So. Just for that reason that you're not going to be defending the middleweight title against any real middleweights anywhere, anyway, might as well fight against Floyd. You know what I mean? Might as well do it against Floyd.